Welcome to Two Guys Garage. We got a great show for you today. We are going all the way in depth into the Cummins diesel. Yeah, we're gonna look inside parts, pieces, the technology, maybe a little sectioning. So it's gonna be a neat one about diesels, and we've got a special guest, someone you guys know and love, gonna bring their knowledge and experience and have a fun day with us today. So stick around. I got that tied down. Now, there's not a lot of maintenance on a diesel pickup, but you do have to change the fuel filter really often, 10, 15,000 miles. Yeah. And uh, otherwise, you're gonna have real trouble in your system. These things give you a lot of love, so you might as well give a little love back. And this guy's got a few <laughs> bugs in it, you know, you might know, as well clean it out, Just too. got back. Hey, there he hey. is. There he is. Man, you got diesel fuel all over. What are you doing? Yeah, I got grime on me, How you doing, so. man? Man, look at this place. You got a nice mural on the wall. You got new fab equipment, you got the shop all cleaned up. Well, hey, you know, you took off. We uh, made ourselves at home. I guess you did. You sent me a message, huh? So how's it been going? Good. What have you been up to? I'm here working. Yeah, well, you know, I've just been having a little fun, cruising around, going to car shows, been shows all over the country, and, uh, you know, working on my hot rods a little bit. Very cool. That yeah. sounds like fun. Can we go? Because we're doing a lot of work on this side. Yeah, last time you guys were doing a lot of work, it was a dream, and you woke up. <laughs> I know you've had great success with this truck, and I've seen you on the road, too, by the way. Oh, yeah. Hauling with this thing with your trailer behind it, but... You didn't even hear me drive up, did you? You kind of snuck up on us this time. I got something real neat to show you. Let's take a oh, look. Oh, no. New toys. Oh, fine. You what do you think, dude? You got to, like, show up. You've been gone, and now you show up with this. Man, it's the first 2010 That's truck you've seen, huh? Yeah, yeah, this is nice. Wow. I'll tell you what. That's really cool looking. You know, this, this Dodge with this Cummins in it, be massive grill. They've redesigned the front end. The interior is gorgeous. Truck rides down the road. Great. I'm this sure is it's super. Got the new car smell too. <laughs> it definitely does. What do you think? I think Brian's got a little truck envy already. Yeah, absolutely. Well, this has got the 6.7 liter turbo diesel. Yeah. Okay. That's you know, 650 foot pounds of torque, Ooh. 350 horsepower, six speed automatic, right out of the box. Runs down the road. Great. I, I think hate that you. might tow a you know a race car or a bike or. So you show up with a newer truck with more power mm -hmm. that looks better with the new car smell. Thanks. Well, you do can get one of these, you know, and put, have your trailer behind it. The neat thing is, you know, it's like like the 5.9 you had in yours. This is an evolution of that. It's quiet, real quiet. This is like a whole bunch quiet, like 50% quiet. I didn't even no hear problem. you roll up. I thought you came in here on like whisper mode. Great for sneaking in at night when you come in late. <laughs> but they've also changed some of the serviceability items, like the fuel filter hmm. from the top cartridge type. There's nothing to it. There's a whole bunch of technology in this thing, and like I said, got plenty of power, runs down the road, great six-speed automatic, bang, bang, bang. Yeah, these it's trucks neat. drive amazing. Yeah, I like do. this inline. You can really get down in and kind of service things and get to things, you know? Yeah, it's pretty neat. Well, speaking of engines, I like staring at them in trucks, but our friends at Cummins sent us a special cutaway, and I think our viewers would rather stare at that one. You know, I really like how they got all little different colors, so you know what's going where in this thing. This is a beautiful cutaway, there's no doubt about it. Hey, welcome back. Cummins was really great to let us borrow their cutaway engine. It's a great learning tool to understand, you know, how a diesel works, where everything goes, all the technology that's in today's, you know, modern diesel engines. Absolutely. This is a 6.7 liter turbo diesel. It's an evolution of the 5.9B engine, which has been around for a long time. Right. It's known for dependability, durability, it's rugged. And what they do is they made these engines, of course, a lot quieter. Now, how they do that is they start right down with the block, the cylinder yeah. block. It's been totally redesigned, you know, as far as the structure, making it dampen all the noise. So you get rid of that noise before you just try to take care of it. Right. So the structure on the inside, we've got all that combustion event and all that banging going on. That's key because you're going to radiate out through covers, through pans. You know, that's going to make it into your driving compartment. Right. So that's one place. Now they've got other places like, you know, their combustion. There's a lot of development in the combustion system, the fuel systems to make that happen right from the inside. Now the difference between a diesel and a gas engine is pretty simple. A gas engine, you have a carburetor or fuel injector, you have a fuel mixture of a 14.7 to 1, you take air and fuel, you mix it in the combustion chamber and at the right time you light the spark plug which yep. starts the flame front and that's what happens. Yeah, well, diesel works a whole lot different. So on a gas engine, you've got a throttle, controls the amount of air, you always have a precise mixture, air-fuel. On a diesel, you really don't need a throttle. Air can come in all at once, you don't need a homogeneous, you know, common mixed area in the cylinder. 
What you do is you let all the air come in and your load, how much performance and power you make is purely by fuel control. So how much fuel you put in, that's how much gets burned. That's what's going to go back to your rear wheels. Yep, and you see fuel injectors right here, goes down through the head and injects right into the cylinder on top of the uh, piston. Yeah, most of the combustion event happens right here in this bowl. So it's a flat, you know, cylinder head chamber and the injector is symmetrical right into that bowl. And what happens at, you know, 1800 bar, which is what, 20? 26,000 PSI fuel pressure, right That's up there. That's a lot of pressure. Well, as that fuel, you know, squirts out of that injector, it starts to shear with the air mix in that bowl and then instantaneously light because it's already under high pressures and high temperatures. Exactly. And of course you have to do things like cool the pistons. If you look right here, there's a notch in the piston. Right here, we've got a little nozzle that's in the oil gallery and it sprays oil up into the bottom of the piston. It cools the piston. We'll show you more about that on the bench. That's what some of the neat things about diesels. They want to run for a really long time under really high loads. So there's a lot of neat structure and like we said, technologies that make them last forever and run clean. Absolutely. We got a turbocharger and the turbocharger forces more air in the cylinder. Yeah. And this is a pretty neat uh, turbocharger. This is a variable geometry turbocharger. So normally, you know, you've got a turbocharger boosting air in. Well, when you got one this large to make that much power, you could have lag down low. Right. right. Nobody wants to have lag. This thing's got an actuator with a set of gears and there's a ring in here. What it does, basically, it changes the exhaust turbine volute section we can make the turbocharger act real small so it spools up good and quick yep. at low speed. You can open it up for all the airflow you need at high speed and it has one extra feature on this is real neat. Yeah, what I thought was cool on these guys, the way they do it, they can create back pressure, which, you know, working against a cylinder on an exhaust stroke can be used as a, you know, basically a brake. This so becomes, you got an engine brake. This becomes your exhaust brake. No need to add one down the road. You got some emissions now to deal with. This is an intercooler for the EGR. Yep. It's a great technology for being able to control the chemistry and the combustion event, but we'll get into some of that a little bit later, too. We'll take a look at the fuel system here a little bit. You can see this is a high pressure, 26,000 pounds, and it's common rail. You can see all the injector lines right there. That means all the injectors have constant pressure on it, and of course, they're electronically uh, operated. That way, you get the precise amount of fuel. You got pilot injection, which makes it real quiet and of course post injection to take care of emissions. Yeah, you know, while we're over here, we can see the throttles that we started adding. Now this is about getting the right delta P so we can get the EGR to flow when we want it to flow. Delta P? Delta P, so we got a difference in pressure and that's what makes fluid flow. So we've got our control mechanism stuff. now. And you know, for shut off, we can close that throttle and help get the engine shut off. Let's get over to the bench. I think we got a lot more to show you, so stick around. Delta P, where'd that come from? <laughs> Sorry, engineered.